Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, August 2nd. You're watching New England Fire Rescue and Police News. We have some exciting upcoming events to share with you today and a special guest. But first our top stories. On Wednesday evening just before 6 p.m., a man jumped off of the Piscataqua River Bridge in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. A Maine State Trooper was trying to get the man to come back over the railing when he reportedly turned and jumped into the river. Portsmouth Fire and U.S. Coast Guard units were called to the scene. A Coast Guard helicopter also assisted in the search. The Coast Guard called off search efforts as darkness fell. Crews were back in the area today trying to locate the man. Thanks Bob. An update on the shooting in Salem, New Hampshire that we reported on Tuesday. Salem officials report that three people were pronounced dead after an apparent murder-suicide. The New Hampshire Attorney General's office is investigating, and autopsies are scheduled to be performed. Officials state that they believe the shooting was the result of a domestic dispute. In other news, a 74-year-old woman who was reported missing on Monday morning has been found deceased. The woman was found in her car in an apparent fatal car accident. New Hampshire State Police officials report that the woman was found with her vehicle. The vehicle was found in a heavily wooded area of Route 101 in Epping, New Hampshire on Tuesday evening. The woman had left Nottingham, New Hampshire on Monday morning and was returning to her home in Portsmouth. Her death has not been classified as suspicious at this time. Hampton, New Hampshire police and DEA officials recently conducted a raid and confiscated over $1,000 worth of synthetic marijuana and bath salts. The drugs were found at a local self-storage facility after a lengthy investigation. Synthetic marijuana and bath salts are illegal in New Hampshire and charges are being filed. At about 8.45 Tuesday evening an aircraft declared an in-flight emergency and diverted to Logan International Airport. A flight attendant found a suspicious item that was left unattended. Logan Airport officials declared an alert too. Two Air Force fighter jets were scrambled and Massport and Bomb Squad units staged on the runway to meet the aircraft. The aircraft landed safely and later departed after a passenger claimed the item was theirs. No charges are being filed in the incident. And now we would like to welcome our special guest Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones is here today to tell us about Methu and Massachusetts' newest addition. Dr. Jones? Thank you, Jim. Methuen, Massachusetts recently accepted delivery of their new Ambulance One. The new rig is a 2012 International furnished by Horton Ambulance. It is currently located at Station One as the department does some finishing touches. The photo is courtesy of MassFireTrucks.com. Thank you Dr. Jones. We have a few upcoming special events that we'd like to tell you about today. That's right Bob. The Stoneham, Massachusetts Fire Department will be hosting a Touch a Truck event on Saturday, August 11th from 9 until 1. The event will be located at the Redstone Shopping Center off of Main Street. Vehicles on display will include fire engines, ambulances, military vehicles, and robots from iRobot. There will be no charge for the event. The Littleton Mass Fire Department is celebrating their 100 years in service. They will be hosting a parade on Sunday, August 12th, starting at noon with a muster to follow at the Littleton Middle School field. All are invited. Visit the Littleton Fire Department website for more information. Last but not least, for the past five years firefighters and police officers from across the state of New Hampshire have come together to play an intense game of hockey in support of the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth. Over this time, the Battle of the Badges participants have done a wonderful job of raising funds to support various programs and services for patients and their families. Now Chad has decided to try their hand with America's favorite pastime, baseball. The game will be held on September 22nd at 1 p.m. The location is at the New Hampshire Fisher Cats Stadium located at One Line Drive in Manchester, New Hampshire. Tickets are $10 and children under 12 are free. Visit www.chadbaseball.com for tickets and for more information. 
We'd like to thank you for watching New England Fire Rescue and Police News today. Tune in next time for our Vehicle of the Week. I'm Bob. And I'm Jim. Have a good day, and stay safe out there.